Now, when we look into the first subnetwork, which is a radio access network, it is having a telecom mast, or we call it as a telecom tower. Now, what exactly this telecom mast is, it is uh, for any new person who has just seen it from outside, I'll tell you that what exactly it contains. So any mast which is having certain antennas, basically it is allowing the communication happening between the user equipment and the network itself. So this particular network, how it looks like we have the antennas on the top of the tower, which is G also known as GSM antennas. And then we have the base station, which is lying underneath below this particular tower and we have certain connectivity. So what happens, any information which is being processed at the base station and then passed on to the antennas, it is covering certain geographical areas for each and individual GSM antenna. So more number of antennas we can add on to increase the coverage. But every GSM antenna is having a particular cell coverage area for that particular GSM antenna. So here in this case, widely or principally we use three antennas in each side, but it can be increased. So each three antennas are being directed towards the different geographical area. So as to cater to the different users that are lying in that particular area. So as they, those users can communicate with this particular tower or this particular base station. Now there are different ways we can look into it and there are different kind of masks that are available. It can, it is, it is possible that we don't have a bigger tower like this. We could have a smaller pole or a smaller wooden pole, which can be used to just cover the smaller area. Or we could have a bigger tower high, which is having of a higher altitude and can cover a larger geographical area, but both are having different pros and cones. We'll talk about that in the subsequent slides, but here, what is more important to understand is we need to plan these different masts and place them geographically in such a way that we can cover most of the area within lying within this particular mast or within particular geography. So we don't want that any mast to be just put in somewhere in a place where there is not much of the population residing over there. Or we don't want to put it somewhere where actually it is just very crowded and it is not able to cater to those many users properly. So we can have more number of base stations in that case. So its location is very important to plan initially and we'll talk about that in the subsequent sections.